Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike Adams here with Think Wealthy, and don't you worry, guys. I got your stimulus update for today, and I'm really excited to get this. Uh, yeah, I went through it. It's like 9,000 pages, you know, but don't worry, guys. I read through all 9,000 pages, and I found the juicy details that you need to know about the next stimulus check that's coming your way ASAP. Let's dive in to today's update. Okay, you got me. This is actually just a stack of papers. Okay, let's go ahead and set those over here. So should you be waiting on or expecting another round of stimulus checks? Seems to be the uh, exciting topic of the day. You see it all over YouTube. It's all over the news. Stimulus, stimulus. Where's my stimulus? You know, but is there even going to be any more magic stimulus checks um, direct deposited directly into your account? Um, we're going to dive into that and we're going to talk about it in today's training. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams, and on this channel, we empower individuals to achieve freedom through improved financial literacy and business ownership. If you are new to the channel, make sure to click subscribe and click the bell, so that way you get notified on any and all of our future content. So in today's video, guys, we're gonna be uh, talking about you know, should you be counting on or expecting any more stimulus checks, um, you know, coming from the government, okay? And as you can see, I mean, it's it's literally one of the hottest topics that you see online. You know, here on YouTube, um, it is uh, crazy. You know, when you kind of look at YouTube and I see these guys, you know, and I like these guys, you know, uh, having a little fun with a clear value tax here. But, uh, you know, yeah, bottom line, I like these guys and they put out really good content, really good information, but it's just stimulus, 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 uh, back pay, thousands of dollars. You're going to get some, you're going to get this, check here. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just money, 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 money. And, you know, and, and here, you know, I thought this one was just juicy. Um, the other, uh, last week I was looking at this and now, right now, as if it wasn't juicy enough to get all this free money from the sky. Um, now, you know, there's even going to be a vacation credit. Okay. A four up to a $4,000 vacation credit. So that way you can get out there and take a vacation to kind of, you know, obviously jumpstart the economy, get people traveling again, all a part of the next stimulus. Okay. So, but the bottom line, guys, is, is there actually going to be any more stimulus, okay? Um, what we know is that the first round of stimulus that went out, um, most folks, and again, I know there's a lot of folks out there that did not receive. Maybe you should have received your stimulus, but you didn't actually get the first round, okay? Um, but for many folks, you know, uh, adults were getting, you know, 1200 bucks. So I'm getting a $1,200 stimulus check. And if you had kids, you'd get $500 per kid. Uh, so married couple, you know, you're going to get $2,400. You got a couple kids on that, you're going to get $3,400. And, you know, so that, you know, for many folks, that was a nice little boost uh, that came during the pandemic. Uh, was it enough? You know, uh, for many folks, obviously not, you know, depending on where you live, uh, $3,400 for a family of four, you know, that could spread, you know, if you're, you know, in the Midwest, okay, in some certain areas in the South, you know, sure, maybe that, that was a nice boost handled your payments for a month, maybe two. Uh, but in other areas of the country where rents and mortgages are quite a bit higher, um, everyday expenses are quite a bit higher, that $3,400 didn't go uh, too far. So ever since then, there's been all this discussion about the next wave or the next round of stimulus checks and, you know, and talking about different amounts, you know, $2,000 a month, um, you know, in, until, uh, you know, the end of, uh, the, the, of this crisis, right. And all these checks are going to be coming in. And I wanted to uh, really just talk to you guys about this because again, there's plenty of people out there that will give you kind of the yes, you know, and, and kind of keep you I don't want to call it on the government hook, you know, uh, but it seems it's almost like it's turning into a bit of a game um, to kind of keep people on um, expecting and waiting for stimulus money from the government instead of thinking about more direct things that somebody can do to better their situation. And it's, it's kind of funny uh, how when it comes to the big banks or when it comes to big corporations, you know, if they need some help, right? You know, if the banks are running out of liquidity and they need it, you know, it's almost like snap of the finger, boom, that money can just come flowing right in, right? Uh, big corporations were in trouble and they needed money flooding right in. It's like, boom, the money floods right in. But when it comes to helping everyday working people, okay, now it's like, oh, 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 you know, now you got some of these politicians like, oh, we got to think about this. 
You know, um, you know, we can't just shuffle out more of these, you know, twelve hundred dollar checks. You know, we, you know, it's not like we can just print money from thin air, <laughs> right? Or, or can they? <laughs> Right when you dial in our good friends over at the Federal Reserve, you know they print money out of thin air to create a lot of these programs. And again, when it comes for the big banks, when it comes for big corporations, it's really not a problem. It's only a problem when it comes to helping everyday, you know, hardworking Americans. And you see, unfortunately, guys, you know whether we, you know whether we the people, you know, think that there should be more stimulus or not, you gotta think about this through the lens of the powers that be our good friends uh, in Congress, and then our very good friends over at the Federal Reserve. You know, they might be looking at this like we're starting to see recovery. So there might not be any more need for more stimulus, quote unquote, for the people. You know, back in March when the market um, had sank all the way down to, you know, 18,000, you know, 18,500, um, you know, most people thought, you know, maybe that's the bottom, right? And, and if you look at the chart, um, based on this chart right here, you kind of see a little bit of a V right here. I guess it kind of goes dit -dit -dit and it starts to come up and then it's like, it does a little bit of this, but it's starting to kind of look like a V, right? And so you might be thinking, well, well, what is this? You know, why is this even happening? You know, how can we have, you know, 44, 45 million new people that are literally out of work, out of a job for the last three months, but yet the uh, you know, the, you know, according to this, you know, according to the market, you know, it looks like, you know, stocks and companies and everything's just starting to rebound just fine. And so obviously there's a lot of underlying issues there as to why this is happening. You know, why is the market actually going up when it seems like people are struggling big time, struggling so much to where they, they need another $1,200 stimulus check. And so to the powers that be, they might be looking at this like, hey, you know, the people don't need any more help. This is, look at this, this is great. You know, we were able to flood the market uh, with, with additional uh, liquidity. And from there, they were able to recover. And all these stocks are going up, up, up. You know, and the Federal Reserve is, you know, uh, you know patting themselves on the back and they're all excited about uh, what they've done here to make things better. But how better are things actually for you? You know, how are things for you, the individual? Right. Uh, the, uh, the the employee who might have gotten laid off from their job a couple of months ago and, and maybe now you're starting to get back to work, but things are still kind of slow and they're not back to the way, quote unquote, that they were before. And, and you're not making money. Uh, and again, we have more and more people every single week still filing new unemployment uh, claims. So, you know, is this really a, a V shaped economy? And so what's really, really scary and what's really, really tough, it feels like, you know, again, you know, in the minds of some politicians that, you know, we might be coming out of this thing just fine and there's no need for additional stimulus. And so what should we be doing instead, right? Instead of, you know, sitting around and hoping and praying that the government's going to kick out a stimulus check or that, you know, somehow, some way they're going to, you know, retroactively give you thousands of dollars out of thin air to help you get caught up, you know, guys, if that happens, um, count that as like, like a bonus. And that's how you should really be looking at any extra stimulus. You know, if they do go ahead and put out um, a new stimulus check or new stimulus payment to help families, again, I think that'll be a really good thing. But I would not count on it. And I think that's what a lot of folks are doing is they're starting to count on, you know what, the government's going to do something. The government's going to bail me out this time. Right. This time the government's going to bail out, you know, not only the banks and big corporations, but they're going to bail out me, the individual. And if you're someone that's thinking like that, you know, my goal is to just try to reach you with the fact that maybe they're thinking that they've helped you enough. Uh, whether that's right or wrong, they might be thinking that based on, again, what's going on with the economy. So what can you do instead? Right. Because, again, a stimulus check is, again, something that isn't necessarily permanent. You know, it's not something where you can take action right, of some sort and it spits out another check. You know, I think a lot of folks should really be looking at this as an opportunity to take action on starting a new business. OK, and I'm not here to tell you what type of business that you should start. But one of the smartest things that anybody can invest in beyond a stock, beyond real estate, beyond any kind of investment is that ultimate investment in yourself and starting your own business. Even if it is a small home-based business, that leads to just a plethora 
of tax uh, benefits and incentives, um, all these additional ways that you can reduce your tax liability and keep more of the money that you earn. But as well, you're starting to build something that you own and you control. And when you think about the way things have gone over these um, last three, four months, you know, a lot of people were completely blindsided by this. You know, most Americans didn't have, you know, $500 in their savings account to handle a small emergency, let alone three months of, you know, not being able to go to work, you know, and having to go without a paycheck or having to go with a reduced paycheck or having to go from a two salary household down to a one salary household. Most people are really struggling because of this. And is the answer getting, you know, help from the government and counting on the government to do to do right by the people? Instead of just doing right by the banks, and by the big corporations, you know, I don't know if that's a sound plan. You know, how can we do right by ourselves through taking action? You know, gone are the days potentially of, you know, picking up a second job. Um, you know, again, with more and more people unemployed, there's more and more competition now for any jobs that are actually available. So the one thing you can do is you can start your own business. If you want to call it a side hustle, you know, go right ahead. Uh, You know, a lot of people hear the term side hustle, they think Uber uh, or Lyft. And again, what's going on with that? Uh, But we're talking about starting your own home-based business. Do you have a skill, right, uh, that you can share with people or teach people how to do um, that you can make money with? What can you do to create value? Right, because if you can create value for other people, or if there is a problem, okay, if there is a problem that you know how to solve it, and it doesn't matter what it is, like let's say you are an expert on repairing lawnmowers, right? Uh, you can make money with that, and you might be thinking, well, Mike, uh, what does that mean? You know, I can't just you know travel around the country fixing people's lawnmowers. It's like, well, maybe you don't have to. You know, maybe you could create content. You know, maybe you could create a sweet YouTube channel where you're uh, talking about, you know, do it yourself, you know, how to fix your own stuff at home type of uh, things. And you literally show people step by step, you know, how to fix a lawnmower. You're not only able to generate, you know, uh, content and create value for people, but again, people are going to want to connect with you. That's going to help you generate leads. And when you're generating leads, there are a plethora of ways to monetize that. You know, we call that building a list. So we went a little longer than normal on this video, but to summarize, you know, should you be counting on another stimulus check? In my opinion, the answer is no, you shouldn't be counting on it. If it does come, right? If it does come and you do get some extra money, maybe they do this retroactive pay and maybe there is, you know, this $4,000 vacation credit that they're, that they're talking about. Maybe all this does actually happen and they, and the government actually steps up and does something to help people um, that, that are boots on the ground, right? Maybe it does actually happen, but guys, what has history shown us? You know, history has shown us that the, that the government is interested in taking care of big banks and big business. And when it comes to the people, the people are kind of left to figure it out. Okay. The markets are, uh, when it comes to the people, the markets are there to kind of, you know, balance themselves out. Uh, again, when it comes to saving big business and big banks, they can just turn on the old printing press and save them. You know, again, a lot different. You know, rather than waiting for the government to do something to help you, start thinking right now, if you haven't been already, you know, what can you do? What action can you take? You know, what value can you start to create for other people? You know, what problems can you solve that other people would like to have solved, right? You know, what can you fix that other people break? Uh, And how can you package that, okay, into a business, you know, into something that you own, you control, and from there, something that you can put action into it and you could start generating revenue from it versus waiting around for the government to do something that they may or may not ever do. So hopefully you guys found value in this training. And I will definitely be curious to hear what you guys think. You know, is there going to be more stimulus checks? Um, if so, you know, what size checks do you think they're going to be? And when do you think we'll actually see them? Um, and if you don't think there's a stimulus uh, coming or you don't think there's going to be any more money, what action steps are you taking to better your financial scenario? Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you in the next training. Hey, everyone. It's Mike Adams here. And... Uh, got your stimulus update for today 
and I'm excited to dive into you to talk to you about uh, more stimulus because you haven't heard enough about stimulus stuff uh, here on YouTube. So one more time, let me hit you guys with today's big stimulus update. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here from the Think Wealthy YouTube channel and I have your stimulus update. And this isn't the first update, this isn't the second update, this is, I don't know if it's a third or fourth or fifth update today that we've done, but you know, we wanted to keep you up to speed on where everything is at with the stimulus. So, and, and don't worry, I have the whole stimulus right here. Um, you know, I, I read through this whole thing, it's like 1300 pages, I read all of it. And so I'm ready to give you guys today's update right now hey everyone it's mike adams here and hopefully you're having a tremendous day and you know i got it right here guys i got the fresh new stimulus plan and and i'm here and i'm ready and i read all 7500 pages of the new potential stimulus plan and we're going to break it down and i want to give you guys all the updates so that way you know when you can count on that next stimulus check you know to hit your bank account 